Is Taylor Swift set to play Dazzler in Deadpool and Wolverine? Here's why Marvel fans think so, and if Swift plays the role, there sure can be a standalone movie in the future about Dazzler. Ryan Reynolds once said, You know, movies like this, there's so much speculation about so many people that might end up in the film. I saw one that was convinced that Elvis is in the movie. Anything can happen, and that's sort of what I love about this universe. Surprises are the essence of Deadpool. This exciting unpredictability is why fans are buzzing about the upcoming Deadpool and Wolverine movie, which will be the first to bring mutants from the Fox X-Men universe into the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Rumors have been swirling for a while that Taylor Swift might play Dazzler, a beloved character from the comics. Her close friendship with Ryan Reynolds, her hangouts with director Sean Levy, and a significant lyric from her latest album have fans thinking this could finally be happening. Plus, Reynolds gave Swift a fun shout-out in Deadpool 2, adding more fuel to the speculation. So is Taylor Swift officially joining the MCU? For months, fans have speculated that the Grammy-winning singer, 34, might make a surprise cameo in the upcoming film Deadpool and Wolverine. The movie will introduce the wisecracking Deadpool and his clawed buddy Wolverine into the Marvel Cinematic Universe for the first time. This crossover is possible thanks to Disney's acquisition of 20th Century Fox, which previously held the rights to these characters. The initial trailers hint at a timeline-hopping adventure filled with superhero Easter eggs and cameos from characters in past Fox X-Men films. Expect to see familiar faces like Azazel, Lady Deathstrike, Sabretooth, Toad, and Pyro. But there's one mutant from Fox's past that might be played by another star, Dazzler. In the comics, Dazzler, also known as Allison Blair, is a mutant with the ability to convert sound vibrations into various forms of light, including lasers, strobes, blasts, and holograms. She juggles her superpowers with a career as a singer, dancer, and actor. Audiences got a brief glimpse of Dazzler in 2019's X-Men Dark Phoenix, where she was played by Halston Sage. She almost made an appearance in 2016's X-Men Apocalypse as well. In a deleted scene, a Dazzler record was shown while Jean Grey shopped at the mall with Scott Summers. Turner, who is friends with Swift, shared a throwback photo on Instagram in April 2016. She wrote, Flashback Friday to that time Cyclops and I went shopping at the mall and found our favorite singer's album, and added, pre-1989 of course. This shout-out to Swift's popular album wasn't just a friendly gesture, it also fed into the rumor mill that Swift might play Dazzler. The buzz started back in July 2015, when Swift posed for a photo with Turner and James McAvoy, her co-star from X-Men Apocalypse. They were backstage at Swift's concert in Montreal with the movie's producer, Simon Kinberg. Since X-Men Apocalypse was being filmed at the time, this picture got fans speculating that Swift could appear as Dazzler in the movie. Kinberg later debunked those theories, telling MTV that they were entirely his fault. Being a huge Swift fan, he played her album 1989 on set all the time. It was what I listened to every morning to get energized, and I played it on the set every day during Apocalypse, he explained. He mentioned going to the concert with Turner, McAvoy, Nicholas Holt, and Rose Byrne. We went to the show, and she invited us backstage to meet her afterward. It was just a photo backstage, and that was the only time we saw her. Despite this, the idea of Swift as Dazzler has persisted among fans. Many now believe that if the character appears in Deadpool and Wolverine, there's a good chance Swift might play the role. The rumors started to heat up again in early October, when Deadpool and Wolverine actors Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman, along with the film's director Sean Levy, joined Swift to watch the Kansas City Chiefs at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford, New Jersey. Jackman even shared selfies from the game with Swift, Reynolds, and Blake Lively. Later in October, Swift was seen with Levy in Manhattan at a gathering with Reynolds, Lively, and Jackman. When asked about the Chiefs game and the potential for a Deadpool 3 cameo, Levy told the rap, no comment, and added, you're going to have to wait and see. He was just as evasive on the Happy, Sad, Confused podcast in October, telling host Josh Horowitz that a Swift appearance sounds like a great idea, but not confirming anything. He did mention, however, that there was one cameo in the film that blew his mind, because it was so easy to book. People love Deadpool, people love Ryan, he said. Thankfully, people also seem to like my work. They know that Ryan and I have a unique and successful creative partnership. This only fueled speculation about Swift. Not only does she have a close friendship with Reynolds and Lively, but she has also acted in films like Cats, The Giver, Valentine's Day, and Amsterdam. 
Plus, she dressed up as Deadpool for Halloween in 2016, wearing the official movie costume lent to her by Reynolds. Back in November 2022, Reynolds denied to people that Swift was in Deadpool 3 before filming began. But in a more recent interview with Fandango on May 20th, he was more playful, saying, Straight up dishonesty isn't in the cards when addressing the rumors. Movies like this generate a lot of speculation about who might show up. I even saw one rumor that Elvis was in the movie, Reynolds joked. Anything can happen, and that's what I love about this universe. Surprises are the essence of Deadpool. Surprises are also a hallmark of Swift, who often drops hints in her music and other materials. Fans on TikTok have noted that in the comics, Dazzler has distinctive eyes, and some visuals from Swift's Eras Tour show her with a similar look. There's also the fact that Swift shot her All Too Well video in the same house where Reynolds and Jackman filmed their announcement for Deadpool 3. Another potential clue lies in the lyrics of Swift's song Clara Bow from her album The Tortured Poets Department. The track ends with the line, The future's bright, dazzling. However, lyrics aren't always indicative. Back in 2019, fans speculated that Swift would appear in Avengers Endgame, linking it to her reputation single, Endgame. She later told Ellen DeGeneres, I would have loved to have been asked, but I wasn't asked to be in it at all. Regardless of what happens, one thing is clear, Deadpool is a Swifty. In Deadpool 2, Reynolds' character Wade Wilson wore a t-shirt referencing Swift's cats, Meredith and Olivia. Down discuss why Taylor Swift appearing in Deadpool and Wolverine as Dazzler and later getting her own movie would be a perfect fit for several reasons. Firstly, the rumor of Swift playing Dazzler has been circulating for a while, and it would be an ideal role for her. Swift's star power has skyrocketed, especially with the Eras tour, making her inclusion in the MCU one of the biggest casting coups ever. Fans have speculated about her involvement, given her enthusiasm for the character. Secondly, there are many similarities between Swift and Dazzler from the comics. Seeing Swift as the singing mutant would be a fun, meta way for Deadpool and Wolverine to embrace its unique storytelling style. Although Dazzler had a brief cameo in X-Men Dark Phoenix, her MCU debut with Swift in the role would be monumental. Even if it's just a cameo rather than the start of a longer storyline, Swift playing Dazzler would be a significant and exciting event. The careful avoidance of direct answers about Swift's involvement hints that her appearance in Deadpool and Wolverine is not out of the question. Whether Swift is playing Dazzler or another character remains to be seen, but with the movie's release just two months away, fans won't have to wait long to find out. Deadpool and Wolverine hits theaters on July 26th. Given Taylor's devoted fan base, Marvel will not want to pass up the opportunity to make a standalone Dazzler film if Swift accepts the role. Well, that's it for today. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for regular updates. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Thanks for watching the video and we'll catch you in the next one.